Hello and welcome to my channel to talk continue the production question. How do they make beats to start with a low volume then it builds up until it starts the higher volume then it. at the end of the beat the volume starts up then it, it fades out. I'm going to show you how you can do that. We use automation clip to do that and the, the knob which you can use automation clip to achieve all those is a master volume. So what you're supposed to do is to just go on the master volume as you can see here this master volume is a one. So what I will just do here I'll right click then it, I'll go to create automation clip then i'll click here so here if i were to go on the playlist you can see there's this one thing which has appeared here this is the master volume which is this one which have done automation clip so what you can do before you do anything right click the master volume then copy value we're going to understand what copying value is when i use it later on as i'm explaining so i'll copy value then here this is the beginning of the beat. So this beat is just starting, just hear the beat before I do anything. So I've heard the beat is just starting with the high volume. If I go to the end of the beat, it is just ending with the higher volume, just yet. So I want to make here the volume to be going down or to be going low. Then at the beginning, I want it to be fading in. So at the end, I want to fade out. Then at the beginning, I want to fade in. So how you fade in, it's up to you how many bars you want to fade in. So as for me, just want to fade a bit here. So I'll just right click here. Then when I've done so, then I'll come here at the beginning of the automation clip and drag it down. Then here, what has happened? I've dragged this up a bit. This master volume have you seen here there's a number which has appeared here it's supposed to be no number here which means i've posted this master volume that's the reason why at first i copied the value to avoid this so i've posted you can see here it is 0 0.2 so what i can do here is to just right click then paste the value so if i were to go on the master have you seen that the number has disappeared because i've pasted the volume which i've copied earlier on so here if i were to play my beat you are going to hear that the volume start low then it will start coming in so in short it will be fading in just here have you heard that the crash is sounding as if it's a reversed crash or it's an effect which i've added well it's just a crash because of the fading of the volume just here So here, if you want, you can even do some more creativity by dragging this a bit down like this so that it is like a cave here. Just here, the way it's going to sound now. Or if you want, you can just right click so that it is reset to its original shape it was before. So if I go to the end here, so here, our main bars want to fade out again. It's up to you. So I want my fade out to start from here up to here so here i'll do the same thing i'll just right click to create a point so when i've done so i'll go to the end of the automation clip and drag it all the way down here then here the same thing to make the volume to be on the same level right click paste value so if i had to play my beat starting from here just yet when it reaches here to start fading out and check the master volume the way it's going to be fading out slowly here just check So I've used at the end, it is going down. Then when the beat starts again, it is going up because of the fade out, which is this side, and the fade in, which is this side. This has been Frederick. Thank you very much for watching. And I'm out.